Today is the first installment of the Pamper Project. And what the Pamper Project is, is basically, it's kind of a labor of love. And I say that because um, Sephora is my official makeup artist. Anytime that I go out to an event, do, whether red carpet or just a, a charity appearance, um, they do my makeup for me. And what I started to think about was how when I was a young girl, how I always wanted to look beautiful and I wanted to have my makeup perfect. And I just, you know, wanted to be the bell of the ball. Um, so I went to Sephora and asked them if they would be willing to collaborate with me on um, a give back for the girls of PG County. And I say that because sometimes PG County high schools aren't recognized or shined in the light that they should be. So um, basically the premise of the project is the girls who have maintained high GPA and they've also maintained perfect attendance throughout the school year. I wanted to be able to reward them because what I always go back to is that sometimes being the the smartest girl doesn't always mean you be you're the most popular and it's not sometimes you want to hide the fact that you are intelligent because of fear of you know not being fitting in so but I wanted to shine light on that and reward them for doing what sometimes people don't want to do because of peer pressure. So that's what this is all about. They, they, today they are receiving many manicures, which I always love being pampered. I always love getting my nails and toes done. So, And they're also getting um, a free uh, mini service today, a complimentary mini service today. And basically with that, um, also along with that, Sephora has donated gift bags. And in their gift bag, they're gonna have a certificate to come in to the actual store and get a full makeover. So I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I hope the girls are. There's nothing like, you know, having your makeup done and having your nails done and feeling like you're the flyest chick in the room. So that's what this is all about today. I'm from Sephora's Test Salon in Suitland, Maryland, 2000 Spalding Avenue, Sweet A. Today I'm doing a mini manicure with some Hey, sure. Sally Henson nail effects. <laughs> um, we have lace. Fishnet is always a favorite. And nude, which works great with any anything. Lots of clear polish. And um, this young lady, she got purple with the lace accent. Yeah, I got my nails done. And pretty soon I'm going to go in the makeup chair and get my makeup done. Oh, this this is great. I I know all my friends are gonna be jealous when I tell them when I show them everything. I was just I was surprised. They told me last night. I was like, wow. I told my mom. I text everybody. Everybody was happy for me, and I'm very happy. This is our first of three high school visits. Our next school that we're planning on going to is Wise High School, um, also a PG County school, and more than likely the last school will be um, Bladensburg High School. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you know, um, as someone mentioned, I wasn't even thinking that far ahead, but who knows, maybe next year this can be even bigger and better. I'll have a bigger and better budget, and Sephora and other companies will hopefully be willing to donate a little bit more and we could do 10, 20 of the top girls at all the schools have a major team. So I'm the type of person that loves to dream big. So who knows? Um, but if you would like more information on all of the activities and events and appearances that I have going on and just some of the other initiatives, um, you can always check me out Facebook at Miss Maryland United States 2011 um, Tiff Parker. And then I just started a new Facebook page called What's Miss Maryland Wearing? So it gives kind of an insight on the little... The, what it takes to to be red carpet ready or appearance ready um, for whatever event it can be. It could be like a major event to like a smaller charity event like this. So I'm just trying to give my audience a little bit more insight in what it is to be a beauty queen. And also you can check me out on Twitter at Miss Marilyn 2011 and um, always email me. I'm so accessible by email Miss Marilyn United States 2011 at hotmail.com.